wording on your Facebook ads. So first of all, only the first two lines of the ad are above the fold. So if you have a Facebook ad over here, um, and you got your little picture and whatever else it says here. So you're gonna have, it's something like the first two lines here above the fold, and then it says read more. And then here's your like image, and then down here's your headline, and then your button. Something like that. So only the first two lines are above the fold. Okay, so that's first of all, when you're writing your ads and you want it to be for maximum impact, you want to make sure that that emotional stuff that punches people in the gut, you want to try to do that in the first lines or at least get attention with the first line. So a couple things, at a very high level, what you want to do with every ad, right, and every piece of ad copy you ever write is there's a formula. So it's ADA, that's how you say it. So the first A is attention, then interest, desire, action. So the first thing you wanna do, you can think of this like a process. You want to get their attention, right, with the ad. You want to do that hopefully down here with those first two lines. So a way I like to do that is I call out the buyer, right? Say, hey husbands, hey moms, hey grandmothers, hey biker dudes, whatever, right? You want to call out the buyer in the first line. I always try to do this. You don't have to, I try to do it. Another thing I like to do is I like to include, test this by the way on your own, but I like to include emojis. The reason I like to include emojis is because people are on Facebook. They don't want ads. So you don't want your ad to look like an ad. You want your ad to look like a post somebody else would share. I like to add emojis because it kind of does that a little bit. Um, and I try to include that in those first two lines. The other thing I like to do is I like to call out, so I said you call out the buyer, but I also like to kind of call out the receiver of the gift. So uh, I'll say, hey, husbands, would your wife love this? Hey, husbands, want to see your wife's eyes light up? Hey, hus husbands, want to jumpstart the romance in your marriage? In those first few lines, you want it to really resonate with your target audience. Another thing I do, you don't have to do this, I do this, I like to ask a question in the first two lines. I like to ask a question because I want to inspire curiosity. And I also, if I need them to, I really want them to click this button, right? So if I can ask a question, like cause their curiosity to be raised, they're more likely to click this read here button to see the rest of the ad. So after you get their attention, the next thing you want to do is increase their interest and desire. And typically, especially with a little Facebook ad, these kind of happen in the same step. Usually what I do to increase interest and desire is I try to one, allude to the result from buying the product. And then I also like to have an offer. So the way I do it is if I'm doing a gift for husbands, I'll say, want to see your wife's eyes light up. That's the result. The eyes lighting up. Do you want to jumpstart your, or kickstart the romance in your marriage? That's the result. Grandmothers, would your daughter absolutely love this? Like I'm alluding to a result, right? That's where you do the interest and the desire. You want them to imagine seeing their loved one's face light up, right? That will increase desire, right? And notice I'm doing it in like three or four words. Like it doesn't have to be a page. The next thing I do is I try to include an offer. You can't always do this. I try to. I'll try to do like, like get 20 bucks off, uh, save 50%, buy today to get free shipping, that kind of thing. So the way that looks in the ad is if the first line is, hey, husbands, would your wife love to get this? The second line may be grab yours here to save and save 20 bucks, right? And then I've got a link to the product. And then finally, you want your call to action. And notice guys, a lot of this stuff is all happening at the same time because you have a very short, limited space to make this work. So my call to action will be grab yours here and save 20 bucks. Notice that the save 20 bucks is also part of what's increasing the desire to buy the product and get the deal, right? So all together now for the ad, it'll be something like, I'll have some emojis, and it'll say, hey, husbands, would your wife love to get this? Grab yours today and save 20 bucks. And then I got a link. And that right there is the totality of my ad. I typically, when I'm testing, I keep all of this short, sweet, and simple. And then if I find a product that starts to scale, that's when I'll get complicated and I'll test different ad copies and images and all that. But when I'm testing, I keep it simple. So there you go. I hope that uh, was helpful. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for checking out the Shine On YouTube channel. I'm Michael Christ. If you liked the content and the video you've seen today, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out all the links in the description below, and we'll see you in the next one.